It's time I show you, Bladers, the way of the ninja. Yo, what is up, Beybladers? Welcome back to another Beyblade X unboxing video. Today, I got the UX05 Shinobi Shadow Random Booster Select. This means all three bays in this set contain the new blade Shinobi Shadow, but feature different colors and different combos. So on the back, we can see the three Shinobi Shadows. We have a gold one with 370 gear points. There's also a black recolor with 960 low flat. And of course, we have the main combo of Shinobi Shadow. The blade is a right rotating defense blade. It is part of the UX line, so all the metal is moved to the outer circumference of the blade. And the metal is shaped into three smooth curved wings that allow Shinobi Shadow to parry and deflect every attack. Shinobi Shadow also comes with the 180 ratchet, and the bit is MN, which stands for Metal Needle. The final thing to point out is that Shinobi Shadow is owned by a blader named Queen Manju in the Beyblade X story. Queen Manju is the grandmother of King Manju, and is a pro blader with tons of experience, as she has participated in 9,999 battles, and incredibly, she has only lost 9 of those matches. In the manga, she does face off Common X, and she does end up losing despite her technique, Bag of Wisdom. Thanks to her experience, she can predict the outcome of a battle before it even began. However, despite using that against Common X, his power and speed of the X dash was too much for her to handle. Alright, enough chit chat, let's begin unboxing the new Shinobi Shadow. On the scale-up guide, we have confirmation that the next release for Beyblade X will be a right rotating balance type that's coming June 16th, and that bay is called Vice Tiger. Alright, so let's take a look at Shinobi Shadow's talk combo. The blade is Shinobi Shadow. As you can see, it has a very nice color scheme, a nice shade of purple with a cyan shade of blue. I also like the way the blade looks as it's very similar in design to the Sharingan from Naruto, as the three launcher hooks look very similar to the Tomoe design on the base Sharingan. So Shinobi Shadow features three very smooth curved blades, and because of that, it can easily deflect and parry against almost all attacks. This gives Shinobi Shadow a very ideal shape for a defense type. The ratchet is 180, and it's definitely the weirdest part of the base so far. It's a one-sided ratchet that's 8mm tall, and even its official description by TT is stated that it's supposed to be good for attack bays. So the fact that it's on a defense type is very odd. All it does is going to make the combination unbalanced and unstable. My guess is that that's supposed to allow it to move around a lot so it can evade attacks as that is one of its main gimmicks. But still, very odd ratchet to be paired with this defense type Beyblade. This is the bit MN which stands for Metal Needle. It's essentially a reprint of the original needle bit that came on Night Shield except the shaft is now made of metal. This does improve the bit's weight and overall endurance. Personally though, I don't think Needle was a good defense bit. Not only was it easy to knock off balance because it had bad stability and massive tilting issues, I also found it had very weak KO resistance, so I think Metal Needle is just going to have the same issue, so I'm personally not a fan of it. However, it is cool to introduce Metal Shaft bits in the Beyblade X system, hopefully we get more of that, like Metal Ball, Metal Orb, or even a Metal Flat. Moving on to the next Beyblade, here we have a black version of Shinobi Shadow. I do like this recolor, probably the best in this random booster select, as it definitely fits with the Shinobi or Ninja theme. This bay comes with a 960 ratchet, one of the best ratchets to use in a game. Not only do 9-sided ratchets have very high burst resistance, but obviously the short height also helps with that as well. Here is the bit LF, which stands for low flat. It's a reprint of the flat bit, but shorter in height. Moving on, we have the final recolor of Shinobi Shadow. I initially thought this was yellow, but in real life, it's actually quite has a gold color to it, and honestly, it looks way better than I expected. The ratchet is 370, a three-sided ratchet that's 7mm tall, so it sits at a standard height. 
The three sides on it are pretty good for burst resistance, and overall this would be a decent ratchet to use on competitive play. Finally, we have the bit, which is gear point. This is a version of the point bit where the gear now extends all the way down to the bottom, similar to gear flat. This increases the base speed and allows for easier contact and more consistent use of the X dash, while still retaining the double motion ability of the original point bit, where depending on how you launch, it can either move like an attack type or act like a stamina slash defense type. Alright, so let's begin weighing out every bay, and this is the part that's going to surprise y'all the most. Shinobi Shadow is only 28.1 grams, meaning it's the lightest out of all the Beyblade X releases so far, not counting the remix of course. The black version is also 28.1. And the gold recolor weighs exactly the same. The ratchet is 6.8 grams. And the metal needle bit is 2.8, almost 3 grams. So to weigh out the full stock combo of Shinobi Shadow, we see that's only 37.6 grams, meaning it's the lightest out of all the Beyblade X releases. In comparison, just the Drawn Buster Blade alone is about as heavy as Shinobi Shadow stock combo. And yeah, as you can see here, Drawn Suspire is like 36.8. So I really don't know what TT was smoking when they decided to make this bay this light. It's like they really didn't want a defense type to be good in X. I don't know what the logic here is, but Whatever, we're still gonna do test spins and test battles to really see if it's anything worth it.
that will conclude my unboxing of the UX05 Shinobi Shadow Random Booster Select. Is the Ninja Beyblade another disappointing defense release in Beyblade X? We gotta do more testing to really find out. Looks like you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like, make a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.